What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog this week. On this week's vlog, we are gonna be digging into just a little bit of the summer work that I do on an annual basis. Um, it is June 5th today, and uh, going out on the property. And this is kind of the start of, uh, of all my work for, for the year, just getting ready for the fall. Um, but going out to our Wisconsin property, gonna be doing some trail trimming and I just wanted to document and show you guys uh, everything we do out there uh, on an annual basis between doing stands, food plots, everything of that nature and along with all the other states that we're getting ready to hunt before season and give you a little bit more of an in-depth look at the work that goes into making it all possible in the fall and being successful. So. Let's dive right in. We are loading the truck right now and we're gonna hit the road here in a few minutes, but it is looking like it's gonna get pretty warm today, so I don't know how much work we're gonna get it we're gonna get done before uh, it gets a little bit too hot to handle. So we're gonna hit the road here. Alright, well, we just got out to the property. Um, as you can see here. This, or, this on the other side of me is the trail we're working with. And this is all solid water. So, I do not think we're gonna be able to make it in this way to cut. But we do have another option. Probably have to cut down. The trail cuts out about 300 yards to the east of me here. So we might have to work down the road coming from a different way um, but back here to the north about 100 yards is a high high point where I got a trail this trail cuts north and then I got an intersecting trail that cuts east and west and uh, I want to open that up more this this summer and eventually put something in it work it up a little maybe put some winter wheat in it just something to draw more deer into that corner of the property um, this timber all behind me is uh, two year aspen regeneration so I mean it's already pretty cool it's already over my head it should put on a lot this year as well um, but went in last year and just started cutting these trails because I knew once once the aspen started growing back that I wasn't gonna have much shooting opportunities uh, if I didn't do something about it so we went in here last year and just started this trail. Um, got a lot of work left on it, uh, a lot of down timber, and it's just pretty much all manual labor in here. There's there's no other way. You could get a dozer in here, but there's not not much else we can do as far as keeping this this trail looking good, other than going in with the mower, cutting it, trying to remove all the logs off it, and then eventually just keeping it up spraying is the plan for now. So. But luckily, mosquitoes aren't aren't too bad in here yet. Usually they get pretty nasty in another week or two, so let go. Pushing 11 o'clock right now. Kind of had a stay, kind of had a standstill here though. Um, the route that I wanted to take in here to cut this trail is just completely water here for like a 10-15 yard stretch. So um, Mowing's probably going to be a waiting game here for at least another week. It's been a pretty pretty unusually wet spring for us uh, and just how our property is it, it holds water longer than a lot of other properties um, still got a long ways to go with getting food plots in and any other crops so but since we're here we're about a we're about 125 150 yards away from one of the bigger bedding areas on the property and uh, just want to take a walk in there because Myself and Aaron, we came in here this summer, or this, sorry, we came in here this March and did some hinge cutting on it, and I haven't been in there at all since, so I wanted to just take a quick hike in here and then check it out, and then I probably will 
not be in it till the following year. So stand right up there. When I shot lefty a couple of years ago. Um, and do some trimming. So a lot of this is already growing up high enough where you probably ain't gonna be able to shoot by September. And we got down timber. Big blow down where the trail. The trail intersects right here. Got a big, got a T right here. And then a T's right here. And it runs past that stand. And on a north wind. Here's where you want to be. Inch cuts don't look too bad. Um, I think we were a little bit early on cutting them this year. We did have quite a few issues with break offs um, on some of these. But a, a decent portion of them are still alive. So kind of a learning curve. It's the first time I've ever done it out here. Um, and a lot of these trees aren't necessarily ideal probably for hinge cutting, but we do have some maple and aspen in here that um, just wanted to play around with it this year. And we did this little patch this March and uh, kind of a trial run. Didn't want to get too carried away with it because uh, like I said, just first time doing it here, I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, how the deer were gonna react to it. So we'll see this fall, what happens with it. And uh, then we'll probably next year come back in here, March, mid-April, and uh, drop some more. But that's gonna be pretty much it for the day. Um, like I said, it's getting too hot here and we got it's just too wet really to work with what we have right now so um, we got a ton of work in here though might have to postpone some of the trail stuff till it dries up but uh, we definitely have plenty of stands that need to get hung and adjusted and I would say within two to three days if we don't get rain, we should be able to start spraying food plots um, and then hopefully start working them up. So, but for today, that is gonna be it. Back out here on the property today, uh, my dad's, we got two acres probably here to spray. Um, still pretty wet out here. We just got two tenths of an inch of rain last night pond's completely full. Still water in the plots, but weeds are starting to take over. Um, so we're gonna have to do something about it here soon because we can't get in here at all to put anything in the food plots yet. So getting a little concerned. We got a lot of, a lot of work on the property to do. Um, and then the rain just keep battling that and it just keeps pushing everything further back and further back. Um, just hoping that we don't run into issues this year where all of a sudden, uh, when everything does dry out, trying to get it all wrapped up at once is going to be impossible. So getting as little bit of work done as we can just to hopefully chip away at some of these summer projects here. Well, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Um, just filled up the second tank about to finish this plot off here we got about half it left and sprayer dies and from what I can tell looks like our plug into the outlet here on the four-wheeler is busted junk um, we actually had a backup plug-in for the battery um, that they went directly to the battery of the four-wheeler. So we're re-splicing the one that goes to the cigarette lighter as a backup and should have should be set now to finish the plots out.
All right, it's uh, June 20th today. Me and Aaron went out yesterday by the house here and put a put a bunch of cameras out on a few public spots and got some high hopes over there this year. Um, out by my dad's today, and we are going to be putting the remainder of the cameras out. Uh, we got a logging road we got to open up probably on the way back to one of my food plots, and we got four or five cameras to put on that property handful others to put on a few of the other farms I can hunt around here so come along with it should be a hot one today it's already pretty humid out it's only like nine o'clock but gonna get them all out finally and then probably let them soak for probably I would say two to three weeks I like to I like to let them first round not go nearly as long just to come back and check them make sure they're actually working properly I've had a lot of issues in the past with all sorts of cameras where Make sure they're working before season, set them up, come back a month and a half later and they have no photos on them. So let's get after it. Out here a couple hours ago, got the food plot worked up. Uh, we're gonna be putting in beans here tonight. A uh, little bit late, but not too bad. We still got probably another week or two that we can put them in out here. But they should be pretty green right when season starts, so that'll help at least with early season, season uh, deer activity, and then hopefully into the late season. But first time planting this here. This was corn in the past. Um, just went in here with the four wheeler, worked it up. And uh, we're gonna drag it here and then broadcast it this afternoon. And we're supposed to get some rain here uh, tomorrow night. And then it's, it's gonna be pretty heavy rain for the next few days. So that should help work the seed in, get it germinating and get it off to a good start. So. just finished seeding the plot here with beans and one last step here is we're just gonna do one quick drag through it and let mother nature do the rest thanks for watching the vlog guys over the last few weeks of some of the work that we've been doing uh, tune in as we go to Kansas here coming up and uh, we got some other uh, work and scouting coming up ahead we got bucks are really starting to put on some inches now so we'll probably get out and do some velvet scouting here over the next few weeks and uh already been getting some bucks on the trail cameras so pretty excited um should have a pretty pretty good season up ahead of us